Joining us now to discuss the Ukraine and key foreign policy hotspots is the chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, California Republican Congressman Ed Royce. Chairman Royce, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. No sooner had Foreign, Administer, uh, foreign Minister Lavrov uh, assured Secretary Kerry on Friday that the Russia uh, Federation had no intention of further military intrusions into Ukraine. Then a day later, less than a day later, we saw this Russian military intrusion on a gas plant that's beyond the Crimean border. What do you make of that? Can the Russians be trusted at all? I think until we give the Russians uh, something to worry about, until we give Putin, let me put it this way, Putin something uh, to give him second thoughts, uh, they're going to continue to to push the envelope here. What we should be doing is announcing a national campaign, frankly, to send gas, and it'll take us a, a little bit of time to get the infrastructure up, but it should be a Manhattan-style project. Get the, the gas out of the United States, into Ukraine, into Eastern Europe, and remove the monopoly that Putin has, because right now that's over half of the income that supports his military. That's how he basically supports his government. And if we were to go in there with a, with a huge program, it would end in the United States the problem right now where we're flaring gas because we've got a surplus. We're frankly uh, capping wells. We could create tens of thousands of jobs here in the United States, and we could make Ukraine and Eastern Europe less dependent on Putin's power. But most importantly, it would give Putin uh, the to put into the calculus here what will happen eventually to the stock market, to the futures markets on gas, to Gazprom and their, their monopoly over, over uh, uh, Europe, and lastly, mm -hmm. what will happen to his power, his ability to finance his military. Well, Mr. That's Chairman, the way to get him to the table. Mr. Chairman, uh, Jay Carney was yeah. asked about this at the White House press briefing both on Thursday and Friday and said yeah. that the administration is right. all for that, but he also added oh. that the, the infrastructure is not in place to deliver liquid natural gas to Europe at this point the, in time, that it's still the, uh, next year before we can do that. Hold on, hold on. The, the futures market reacts instantaneously. If we were to announce a rollout, which they're not going to do, because their focus in the administration uh, is, on, uh, is on this climate argument. The fossil fuel, fuels is not part of what they intend to do as a massive program uh, to, give, to sell gas uh, into Eastern Europe. The impediments that have been there for the last five years are the makings of the administration themselves. They're the ones that have blocked the permits. So, you know, if, if we want to get this thing up and running and break a monopoly, which Putin has, which gives him monopoly profits and the ability to dictate terms over there, we've got to seriously get out in front and, an and announce a national program to speed all of this up, focused on Ukraine and Eastern Europe. I don't hear the administration doing this. We just passed a resolution out of my committee um, directing them to do this. And I don't expect them to until we pass statutory legislation, which we're going to have to do in the House and hopefully in the Senate, dictating this policy. The critics have said that the Obama administration have gone beyond appeasement in this case uh, to, to almost a, a Gandhi-like pacifism when it comes to uh, Putin's aggressions. Do you agree with that assessment? And should we well, be saw... taking a stronger military uh, presentation in this case? We need leverage, and the leverage is economic leverage. And you, you heard the commentary made by the Secretary of State. This is not, words are not what uh, work with Putin. What works with Putin is something that changes his calculation about how much it's going to cost his country. And the one thing he cares about is the income that supports his military. You take that away, you, uh, you break the monopoly and, and tell Eastern Europe, all of whom have written the Speaker of the House, the four countries, four heads of state, have written to our speaker, John Boehner, and said, please give us an option. Please send gas, sell gas into our markets. That's where the foreign policy leverage is here. This is the way we change the dynamic. But we have an administration that, because of their hostility to fossil fuels, is not going to embrace this. We're going to have to pass legislation with huge bipartisan majorities, which I think we're going to get in order to force the hand of the administration. And that, finally, will force Putin's hand. Chairman Ed Royce of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, thank you very much for good to see you. Thank you.